Sports. Hey guys, it's been a long time since I made a video for this page, but I discovered something new and apparently it's a new movement called healthism. And healthism supposedly is against people uh, being intrusive and feeling superior because they're thinner, thinner um, than other people. And I thought that it was maybe like an acceptance movement or something like that. But what I see is that it's beyond that. It's not really about acceptance. It's about people um, basically telling other people that they're not superior to someone who has a larger body or someone who is obese and obviously that's the truth like no one is superior because they're thinner or they take better care of themselves we all have areas in our lives that we are undone that we are not perfect in so the, that's not a problem and i also think it is a problem when people are intrusive about their opinions about anything about how you look or anything about you, uh, what you're wearing, etc. Or if they are like beating you over the head with their beliefs about things. I totally get that. And I don't encourage arguing. I am a nutritionist and personal trainer myself. And I do not get into health arguments with people unless they're promoting something that I know for sure, for sure is bad. Like, um, you know, something that that can really hurt someone's health. We are not supposed to lord over people with our ideals of what we believe is healthy. Certainly in this... Uh, certainly we are not to bombard people or beat people over the head with our ideals of what's healthy because in this day and age, people have found their own ways to be healthy. Um, my idea of what's healthy may not be yours. Uh, you may be more strict than I am. I might be more strict than you are. And as people who promote health, we cannot uh, promote one lifestyle over another, or one diet over another. And of, and of course, having a healthy lifestyle includes much more than what we eat. But I feel the danger in this healthism movement is, is going to do more harm than good because it's one thing to be accepting of your body and where it is. Certainly where I was, I I had a, the type of acceptance when I was overweight to where I actually loved myself enough to do to work harder for my health, to be better so that I could have a better life and a better future. And that is the type of acceptance that we need to promote. Not the acceptance of I can't do it or I've given up, so I'm going to stay this way because I have not figured it out and it's too hard for me to change. So I think that a lot of people are speaking from a place of hurt and they're trying to turn that hurt around. They're speaking from a place of um, defeat. I didn't figure it out or I don't know how to or where to begin or I don't have the resources. So instead of me feeling bad about that i'm going to make the person telling me that i need to change to feel bad about that we all know that just because someone is skinny doesn't mean that they're healthy and even the most healthiest looking people in the world can still be doing unhealthy things that's the truth that does not negate from the fact that people who live an unhealthy lifestyle including not eating properly need to change that okay none of us are perfect but when we start to say that what we're doing isn't wrong for ourselves, that's the problem that we run into. If we have a car and we, instead of put a, putting gasoline in, we put sugar in it, okay? Or, or something else. Someone telling us, hey, that's going to do damage to your car. That's a person warning us, not a person that's trying to hurt us. They're trying to help us. And so I have to be honest, there's some people that don't know how to go about that the right way. And there's certain people that are bad body examples that try to promote, uh, to tell people what is right or wrong about health and they're not even living healthily. That's not, that's being a hypocrite. I don't condone that as well. But the problem in this is if, if your trainer, nutritionist, dietitian, or doctor or pediatrician can't say that something is unhealthy, then what are you trying to do with the health industry? You're trying to make people 
conform to your inability to properly comprehend and apply what makes your life better for yourself. And since that is a hurtful place you're coming from in a frustrated place, you're trying to now make it something wrong for a person who basically is devoting their life to help people like you. You're trying to make them the villain by saying they shouldn't say that what you're doing is not good for you. And so if this is just about telling people mind their business, I get that. People need to mind their business. But I just hope that this doesn't extend towards healthcare professionals. We don't wanna do that as a country. We don't wanna do that to ourselves. It's good to support one another in doing positive things, but not support each other in doing negative things. Not support each other in saying, hey, it's okay for you to not care that you're healthy or not. It's okay that, that um, you're going to face an early grave and you're going to feel uncomfortable and you're slowly going to have uh, pain and all of these things build up. You're gonna have to take lots of medication and you're not gonna feel good. That's not okay. And I saw a meme today that said, I don't owe being healthy to anybody. Well, you kind of do because if you have a family, um, somebody's gonna be there when your health starts to decline, they're gonna to have to help you. You're gonna to have to miss out on things. They're gonna need you and you won't be able to be there. Uh, you physically won't be able to feel good, participate, et cetera, et cetera. And when, you, when uh, your health starts to seriously, seriously decline, you're gonna to have to lean on people and they're gonna to have to take care of you because you decided that you didn't owe it to them to be healthy just something to think about chill with the isms because when we take things like this like healthism and make it a thing it kind of takes away from the important things like sexism racism lots of those isms that actually are really a big problem and they are really wrong let's keep our sensitivity uh and call it what it is. It is sensitivity, it is frustration, but that should make us all the more willing to be more diligent about doing whatever we can to make ourselves happy. Not about other people, okay? Being healthy is not about anyone else. It's about you and you loving yourself. You know, people wanna talk about how much they love themselves the way they are. If you really love yourself, then do the best you can for yourself.